Do you want to add an AI chatbot onto your WordPress website like this? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do so. We're going to be going through all the steps required to set up your bot from installation, setup of your bot, connecting to your open API account, pricing of using it, and pretty much everything else you're going to need to know to set up your first WordPress AI bot. Using a WordPress AI bot on your website is going to give you a ton of benefits and can also benefit your user. The amount of features that you could potentially add on a website using an AI bot are enormous. Anything from customer care, technical support, a chatbot for somebody to talk to, something to create content, give tags, titles, meta descriptions for posts, and it's really unlimited. It's really up to you, your creativity, and what you think that you can achieve using this AI bot. Not only are we going to be going through the installation, but I'm also going to show you how to train your bot using your posts and pages, feeding it data manually, or if you've got data to upload. And finally, we're going to look through pricing, how to limit your pricing, how to use tokens for logged in or non-logged in users, and even check back your bot replies to make sure that it's replying how you want it to, or completely customize your AI bot. So with that, let's get into the video. So we're going to get started with a pretty much empty site, just with a few plugins in. This of course is going to be on WordPress and we're going to get started with finding the plugin itself. As you can see, I've already got mine installed. To go ahead and install it, we're going to go to plugins, then we're going to go to add new. I'm going to type GPT into the search bar for the keyword, and then you're going to find the AI power complete AI pack. Now there are other alternatives, of course. However, this one I have tried, I've tested, it works on the newest version, and it works really well, as well as being easy to set up and use. So go ahead, click install now. Once it's installed to your plugin list, go ahead and click activate. You can also do this by going to your installed plugins and then activating it there. Once activated, you're gonna have the AI power on the left-hand side. This is gonna be where you get all of your features, setups, and much more. Now to explain how this is going to work, we're gonna connect this with ChatGPT on OpenAI using API keys. That might sound hard if you haven't used API before, but it's fairly easy to do. They also give you instructions on this, however, we're going to go through this in a minute. First of all, let's go through the features that it's going to give you. We're going to start first with Content Writer. This is a great thing because this can be used to write your content. You can use this tab right here, filling in what language, heading, keywords, images, and additional information that you want to add to your post. And it helps to do this once you've indexed your pages and posts so it can read how you normally write. You can then generate entire posts, however long in length you need them to be. Another handy feature is that this also adds to your new post so if you go to a new post along the bottom you're also going to find this feature here which means that you can fill in your post right here auto generate it with pictures using keywords and all sorts of other things that will make your post really come to life and it will generate the content below once generated you click save to draft and then your content goes out to your actual post this does have a lot of features so we're not going to go through absolutely everything chat gpt is going to be the main one that we're going to go through today where we're going to create our chat bot as we're going to be going through this a bit more thoroughly i'm not going to go through this now so let's just move on to the image generator using dali or stable fusion you can now start to generate images you can not only do this for yourself on your site and just a side note these are copyright free they've just been made by ai so they're not actual copies of any other images but you can use this yourself but also give this as a feature for others to use you choose the type of engine that you want to generate your image with and then you change the settings accordingly once you've changed everything to how you want it you simply use a prompt and then click generate a newer feature is ai forms where ai can help you build forms using prompt bases Prompt base is one that we'll be covering a little bit because this is a great way to start chat bots or chat AI bots without having to do too much yourself. The reason for that is because these are already pre-prompted. For instance, if you want a Reddit discussion bot which discusses Reddit posts and generates them for you to post, you can click on the prompt right here, change the settings to suit you, and then use the shortcode and put this on one of your pages or posts. Now anybody else will now be able to use the Reddit bot. We have embeddings which we're not going to go too much through, that's a further step involving Pinecone. Pinecone is something that you can gather all your data on and have a huge amount of data and it uses this to pass back and forth from your plugin, rather than having to stall all the data on your website. Training your AI we will go through as well, this is how you can actually train your AI once we've got it ready. Audio Converter will convert your audio, it's a really neat feature but the price point is a little bit higher than text. You have Role Manager because you can set the amount of tokens for different roles and help for your AI account. Now that we've gone through all the settings, let's actually go through connecting this up first. So for this, let's go to settings or just click on AI power. The welcome setup key basically tells you what you need to do. You need to set up an open AI API key. This is by going to AI to generate your API key. Go to AI engine in this tab and then enter the API key. So let's get started by clicking on open AI. 
I've logged into my account, you're going to need to make one. The actual account is free to create. The only thing that will cost you is your usage of words through the API. As you can see, one day I spent 41 cents, another day I've spent one, and this is showing me the amount of usage on my site and how much it's going to cost. We're going to go through pricing a little bit later in the video. However, once you created your account for free on platform.ai using that link, you're going to come down to the billing section and then you're going to set up a payment method. Your payment method is how you pay your monthly bill. From here, you can also check out pricing. Again, Again, we're going to go through that shortly. Once you set up your payment method and you have your account on here, we're going to go down to API keys. I'm going to have the current keys that I have blurred out. You just want to go to the create new key. Click on create new secret key. Add a name for your secret key just so you can remember it yourself and what it's for in case you have multiple bots or sites. This will then generate you a secret key which you can go ahead and copy. Then click done once you're done. Now that's almost everything done to connect your chatbot to API. So let's scroll up and we're going to go to the AI engine. This is going to be found through AI power, settings, and then come to AI engine and then click on that tab. I'm going to have my current API key blurred out however this is going to be where you paste your API key this is personal to you and make sure that you don't share it. Another important thing once you paste your API key is going and choosing your model. This is going to be where we find out a bit more about the pricing. So back on our platform.api.com tab we're going to go to billing overview and then we're going to go to pricing. This is going to be where it tells you what models and how much they charge. GPT-4 which is the most recent current model at the 32k content model will cost you about 6 cents per thousand tokens for the input and up to 12 cents for the one per 1000 tokens output. 1000 tokens is about 750 words. A much more affordable version that I like to use because I offer mine free up to a limit is going to be the GPT 3.5 Turbo 16k content version. As you can see the pricing is much more competitive per 750 words or 1000 tokens but the input and output still adds up to less than 1 cent. The fine tune models you also have another price range and we're going to go through fine tuning shortly but the usages are going to be a lot less however training and usage does have a cost. The same with embedding models but we won't be going through embedding in this video. So I'm going to stick with GPT 3.5 Turbo but you can choose other versions. Another important section is the max tokens. This can be configured separately for each bot. So we're going to configure it um, for each bot rather than a max tokens. However, I do like to have a max tokens on here just to make sure that I never spend too much. This is because this is how many tokens it's going to spend to reply. So you do not want to be spending too much on each reply. So the max tokens for each reply is 1,500. So it can only really be up to about a thousand words ish on this site. Otherwise you might end up getting a really large bill. And to mention that we're going to go back to our open API dashboard and we're going to go to billing and we're going to go to usage limits. You get an approved usage limit and also a limit that you want to spend. I've set mine. So first it will give me a notification when I hit $15 and second it will hit the hard limit for $20 and stop. Now without the boring things of going through every other setting here, let's get started with training our bot and then creating one. So to train your bot, we're going to go to train your AI. And here we have three different versions. We have the uploaded data directly. Make sure that these are in .json files. To do this, you can go up to up Upload, and you can upload your file right to here. Again, if you want to do it this way, you can search for other alternative tutorials that will be able to help you with that specific part. Second is manual entry. This is where you can enter a prompt with a completion, fine tune it and add it to your model base. For this, if you come up to the top and click on manual entry, you're going to see that we have the same window where we can add the prompt of how we want the question to be asked, and then the completion of how we would like it to be completed. The more of these we will ask and answer, the better our bot will learn and then answer questions more personally and how you've set it to be. Last but not least, we have Data Converter, which is probably going to be the easiest and most favorite version because it will take the information from your post and pages, convert it, and then you can then fine tune it for your bot to use. What we can do here is select either posts and pages. You can do this separately if you want two different ones. So I'm going to select post first and I'm going to click convert. It's going to take just a minute to convert. It depends how many posts or pages you have. I don't have a lot on this site, so it's done mine pretty quickly. Now I'm going to do a separate one for my pages as well and convert. The only reason I do this is because then I can remember which ones I have done in case I want to delete it and fine tune a newer one after a few more posts have gone up. But as you can see, we now have our pages and our posts. One's quite small, one's a little bit larger, but we're going to go to upload for both. Click on the upload. We're going to do it for the purpose of fine tuning to the Ada model base, and then we're going to give it a custom name. I'm just going to do test one and then click upload. That was all done successfully. Now let's just do the second one as well. So I'm going to call this test two and just make sure you don't mix them up as I might have just done now because I've forgotten which one's which. Either way, we're going to come over to our data sets over here and I can see that it's the top two right here. 
to fine tune them or create a fine tune, we're going to click on create fine tune, select a model base and click create. I'm going to do the same thing with my other one as well. I'm going to select the same model and click create. Now if we go over to trainings, we're going to see that it is now pending until it will be eventually successful and it would have learnt the stuff. Right, so we've tuned it. Let's get to the bit that everybody really wants to do, which is actually get the chat bot on your site so people can use it and you can use it yourself. Um, I try or I tend not to use this particular bit really it's going to work in the same way but I like to click on chatbots right there then we're going to go to create new chatbot first choice is going to be whether we want it as a short code or a widget for a short code I would normally use this if you're going to add it on a post or a page itself for a widget if you're going to add it to the sidebar or somewhere on a menu then I'll do it as a widget so I'm going to stick as a short code for now so it's just easy to embed in places click on next here we're going to choose our language we're going to choose the tone so let's say for instance this one's going to be a customer care bot for our hosting company I'm going to be choosing the professional tone and I'm going to be choosing him as a customer support no in fact let's go for a technical support once you're happy with that let's go to next the style tab will let you completely pretty much style everything from the background color we can change that perhaps we want green we can change the button colors let's make that red uh, the user background color once they do talk which I'll just show you in just a second let's just make that yellow and the AI background color we're going to make that orange so I'm just going to type in hi And as you can see, the colors are slightly different and the AI is responding. You can choose a custom avatar for the AI or just leave it as the default one. Almost forgot to say that you have to click use avatars to use the avatar. As you can see, we now have the avatars. You can change the manual width and pixels or height in pixels as well. And then these are interesting buttons, which I would like to use, which is the full screen button, close button, download button, if you want to allow them to download the dialogue. And then other things like the color of the bar icons or the AI thinking, including the delay time. So change these accordingly. And I'm going to go to next. Next is going to be where you choose your model. Now, this is going to be depending on what you want to use. For instance, we have ChatGPT Turbo, which we can connect instantly and we know the price for, but then we've also trained um, our personal post, Ada, right here. So it depends how much you've trained your actual model itself. If you've not trained it very much, you don't have merit enough information for it to be useful for. Then perhaps just choosing one of the already pre existing GPT bots will help. I don't actually have many posts on here, so I'm going to leave this as GPT Turbo, but make sure you make your choice. Okay according to what you need. So temperature is something to do with a creativity factor to correctness, usually 0.7 is good. Max tokens again is going to be how many max tokens um, once this particular bit is how many the bot actually uses. So you don't want to do more than 1,500 tokens per response for the bot, otherwise it might end up using a, a lot of your pricing point. So I'm just going to leave this as 1,500. If you want to do it as 700 words as the max response, we can also set that to 1,000 tokens. These are going to be things that you can play around with and you can find more information for on the uh, open API website or if you simply search and you can even ask the bot itself I tend to leave these as default as I've never had a problem and I like to have best of one answer so I'm gonna go ahead to next you can enable speech to text however this will cost a bit more on the pricing point so that's completely up to you whether you want to be paying a bit more for that changing the colors and yeah I'm just gonna turn that off for now but that is optional right there next up you can name your bot so let's call this guy Bob what we're going to call the user or the person we could even put user rather than you AI thinking you can change this to typing so let's say you know once the AI is thinking we can be we just put typing so let's just try there hi there we go and just put typing instead of thinking completely up to you personalize that how you want and we also have the welcome message which is the first message you get on when you first log on change that accordingly i also like to add a no answer this is if it's simply a no answer and you want to be particular with how you answer that um, and to finish off let's just add a footer note at the bottom now i'm going to go to next this is an important part and i do like to use this part this is additional context click on additional context and you can first of all choose a template so for instance if i choose technical support it's going to write me the context of how i want my bot to work just so you get an idea this is basically telling the bot the parameters of where it's allowed to work what it's allowed to do so i'm going to take mine out completely and let's just write a completely new one here just so um, for instance this is a hosting company so this bot can only answer hosting questions to do with our company so let's let it know to do that so an easy one i've done you are a technical support staff called bob working at and then i've put site name like this you can use these context bars if you want to add your site name site url domain or date you will only assist users with hosting related questions
questions and will be friendly with your answers. That's a very simple one, but you can actually go quite in depth here, giving them exact information such as upselling products, giving links if something doesn't work and much more. We're gonna test this in a minute when we ask him a question. So do we want him to remember conversations? I'm gonna click yes, so he does remember the conversation. I'm gonna put this to the minimum, which is three. Is he user aware? This can be in case a user is logged in and they log in, log out, and then come back in again. Is he aware that that's the same user? Context aware, this is default set as yes, so obviously he can check out what the context is. And to explain the exit um, or embeddings, as I mentioned earlier, embeddings is done through something different, which is called Pinecone. Pinecone is a place that you can set up your account, you can set it up for free, but it is very well requested. So um, sometimes there is a waiting period. However, it's basically like a database to hold all of your information if you're training your model on thousands and thousands of documents. You use Pinecone and then add in the API the same way as we added the API for ChatGPT. We're not going to be going through that because that takes a little while to set up and I've not set it up myself yet. So we're going to be using the excerpt. Now the excerpt is the excerpt to any of your posts and pages. So if you are using your custom model, so your model that you've trained on your posts and pages, you will use the excerpt to try and find and answer somebody's question. The excerpt is usually if you've put it manually into your post or usually the top 50 characters of your post or page. So we're going to leave it as that at the moment. However, for a more in-depth tutorial of how to use embeddings, we will be doing this shortly. So make Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the little notification bell, and then you'll get the notification when the video does come out for that. Now let's go to next, so we're happy with all of that. Do we want to save chat logs? Um, I usually will click yes to save prompts, save chat logs, so we can actually read back and see um, how they've been answered. And we'll go through the logs just after we save it in a second. I usually like to display notice. This is to do with, you know, cookies, GDPR, having people's data. We're just gonna let them know and you can also change that notice. Now I'm gonna click on next. We now limit the token handling. Tokens, again, is how many words they're allowed to use and the pricing point, so, um, just as a reminder, that's 1,000 tokens is 750 words. So if we want to limit registered users, we can click that and then set the limit here. Let's say 2,000 words is now a limit for any registered user. And you can also set this by role base. So potentially you might have different roles as members logging onto your site. You can check this and set the limit for them. However, I'm just going to set the limit for a registered user. And then for a non-registered user, perhaps you're using this for free um, or giving them like a preview of it. I'm going to set that to 1,000 tokens. So they're only allowed 750 words. Um, now, this is your notice once they've reached their limit. You can change that and then you can put the limit. So I'm going to put a limit of one month. So every one month they get 1,000 tokens or 2,000 tokens if they're a registered user. Um, don't use this yourself, obviously use this to how this would suit you, how much you want to spend, how much they might be asking. 1,000 tokens goes pretty quickly in a few questions or can do. Next, once you're happy with all the settings on your bot, we're going to click save. Oh, apparently I didn't name the bots. Let's go back. I must have missed somewhere. I've got Bob there. Oh, I forgot Bob right at the start. Let's go ahead and save our bot and we now have our brand new chatbot which should be working for you. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the short code because we're going to need this shortly so I'm going to just going to copy the short code it gave me but first let's go to logs. This is going to be where you can check the logs of anybody searching. In fact let's go check it out first and then once we check it out we can then come check the log of what we said. I'm just going to go add this on a post because this is for a test. Click on short code and then paste short code onto your post or page. I'm then going to hit publish and let's just go ahead view the page and check out the bot. There we go we have our bot and he's live. So chatbot's working let's just ask him hi make sure that everything is going through all right hello how can i assist you today perfect what is hosting and he's going to go ahead and answer your question obviously the more specific the more prompts that you've told him the better he's going to be at answering specifically either way with that going on we're now going to go back to ai power we're going to go to chat gpt and then we're going to go to logs to check out the log as you can see we are now on the log section i've covered up my ip but you will be able to see the user's ip how many tokens they used the estimated cost that, that cost you date and time and you can also go ahead and view the conversation itself with all the details thanks for watching guys for any more questions leave them down in the comments i'll make sure to get back to you for any more help like this but you can also head over to seekhost.app use our live chat and ask us any questions there as well don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'm gonna have two videos popping up for you one's gonna be one of our podcasts where we talk about tech blogging fitness and many other subjects or if you're looking into podcast production yourself check out the other video to see how you can get that done for your brand